Well, sport now and the Odyssey will be packed out tomorrow for Carl Frampton's world title eliminator. But the fans are in full voice already as they showed their support at today's weigh-in. Ruth Gorman's report contains flash photography. Comfortably making the weight today, Carl Frampton came face to face with Hugo Cazares for the last time before they step into the ring tomorrow night. The Mexican kept Frampton waiting though. He was 10 minutes late to the weigh-in. I think he's just struggling a bit with, with, with the weight. Um, you know, it's, it's probably a bit easier to get the weight off in Mexico. It's, a, it's probably around 40 degrees in Mexico at the minute. Um, it's not 40 degrees here, so I think he struggled a little bit, but listen, who doesn't? What was that like coming out to that noise again today? That was, that was amazing. There's, you know, there's, it's great that there's an atmosphere like that just for a weigh-in. Um, some, some fighters and fights don't get atmospheres like that. So uh, I'm very, very privileged that the people have come out on a Thursday afternoon as well. Half of them probably should be, should be in work, but it's all good as long as they're here. What goes through your head when you have that stare off there? Just look right through them. Just, just look for any weaknesses. You're, you're actually you're, you're looking at each other that close. You start squinting a wee bit. Um, you're just thinking, just keep your eyes on them. That's it. Don't blink. That's it, really. Santa Cruz and the world title brought up in every interview I do, but Cazares is the only guy I'm thinking about, but I know when I beat this guy, the feeling after winning this fight is going to be amazing because I'll, I'll be standing in the ring as a winner knowing that I'm going to be fighting for a world title after it. Shane and Barry McGuigan are with me in the studio. Barry, even the atmosphere was electric at the weigh-in. Every time Carl Frampton fights, mm -hmm. he just gets bigger. Yeah, it gets ramped up and ramped up. And that's thanks to you guys, uh, his... The publicity around this fight has been extraordinary, and uh, you know he's in tremendous condition thanks to Shane here, and um, you know we're looking for a great fight. This kid's come to win. Cazares is very much up for the fight. You saw it at the way in there. He really wants to come and have a tear up, and I think the crowd are going to have a, a great benefit because of that. And they're fighting over the opportunity for a possible contending of the WBC world title, almost in Carl Frampton's grasp. It's not just any world title. It's it's the one the boxers want. Yes, it's the one with the greatest gravitas. It's the green belt. Everybody wants to fight for that. It's the Mayweather, Pacquiao, all the guys, the great fighters win the WBC belt. Um, so it's, it's the one that Carl wants, and he's in great condition. Shane, Carl looks like being in his best condition ever. What's the secret? Um, I just think it's a long camp, really. Um, he came into camp on January 8th, and the fight got extended. We were going to have it on March 15th, and then it got put back to, to April 4th. So we've given ourselves a little bit longer. And uh, he's sparred over 230 rounds and he's flying fit. Now, the last time he won the fight um, with a body shot, what's it going to take this time? Um, the opponent that we've got on Friday night, Hugo Gazares, is a lot better than Jeremy Parody. He's proved himself a two weight world champion. So we've, we, you know, we're going to have to come up with a couple, couple more tactical maneuvers. We're not going to give any game plans away, but what, what we all expect is a, is a very hard fight. Barry, you're the manager, your mm. son is, the, is the, uh, the, the coach. Do you wish it were the other way around? Uh, can you still get involved? No, he's a much better coach than I am. <laughs> I, I get involved, but sometimes he tells me to st stay back and, and to stay quiet um, because I'm very passionate about it. But uh, Frampton will win uh, tomorrow night. Uh, he's in, in against a tough kid, uh, but he will win, and he will win dynamically, Paul. Uh, he's up against it. This kid's a two, two weight world champion, but we are completely convinced that he will win and win emphatically and we'll move on then to the fight against uh, Santa Cruz. Carl Frampton has united us in Northern Ireland in a way similar to what you did whenever you were fighting. Will he be bigger than you? I think he will. I think we're only, he's only scratching the surface. I think he can go through the divisions. He can go up to featherweight and possibly super feather. What do you think? He's got the potential to go up to um, super feather, definitely. He's maybe even lightweight. He doesn't have the size, but he's definitely got the power. Yeah. Definitely, and I, I think he can. He is already transcending the sport, and I think he's going to be a world star. Well, best of luck to you guys tomorrow night, but best of luck most of all to Carl Frampton. Thanks very much Thanks for coming in. We turn to boxing, and Carl Frampton and Hugo Cazares eyeballed each other ahead of tomorrow night's world title eliminator fight. Uh, Carl Frampton stepped off the scales and said he's going to knock his opponent out, as Thomas Kane reports. Eight, nine, eight. He's going right Bang on weight and ready to go. Carl Frampton says that he's going to win and win in style. I think I'm going to get rid of this guy um, and I think it'll be a big statement when I do. Um, he hasn't been stopped since 1999 
and I believe I'm going to do it on tomorrow night. How important is it for you to make that kind of a statement? It's very important. You need to look explosive. You need to look exciting in all your performances. Um, you know, American TV are, are interested in stuff now. They want to see blood and guts, and I'm prepared to give that. It's that terrible fight. It's the fight before the fight. It's the fight before the money. It's that fight where the hometown favourite is up against it, against the veteran who revels, who loves, who delights, who specialises in going overseas, either Puerto Rico or even Japan, to fight unbeaten fighters for world titles or world title eliminators. This is Card Frampton's chance to go global. Thomas Keane, BBC Newsline, Belfast. And the fight is live on Radio Ulster.